Hello, this is Andrew from SEMA Labs, and in this tutorial we're going to look at showing an interstellar iAd in Swift, so that's basically a full screen ad. So to start off with, we're just going to create a single view application in Xcode. We're just going to name it iAd Interstellar. Make sure it's Swift, we'll go next, and we'll create that project. So to start off, we'll just go over to our storyboard, and from here, we're just going to add one button to show the ad when the user clicks on it. So usually, you'd have this show automatically, but we'll just show this for the tutorial. So go show ad. Once you've done that, click on the assistant editor in the top right. I'm going to show ad. Hold down the control key, and drag it over into here, and create a connection of action. Name will be show ad. And the type will be UI button, connect that up, do that. And now that we've got that set up, just close down the second window and we'll go over to our view controller and do our code for the ad. So to start off with, we need to import iAd. We also need to add add interstellar ad delegate to our view control class. Now you will notice there will be an error come up over here. You don't need to worry about that yet. We've got to add in a few functions until it will get rid of that error. So once we've done that, you won't see that anymore. So to start off, we've just got to create some class variables. So the first one will be the actual add. So do there insta add equals add insta stereo add brackets. The second one will be there insta add view equals of type UI view equals UI view. So this is going to actually be the view that the inter ad is displayed on. And one more we need to do there close button equals UI button. Got button with type. Do UI button type dot system as UI button. The reason for this is the full screen ads don't have a close button on them straight away, so that's why we need to manually add one. And just realize this i is meant to be lowercase, so fix that up. Alright, so we now view the load, set up our close button for the ad. We're just going to create a little circle button with an X in it. So to do that, we'll do close button dot frame equals CG rect make. We'll make it 10, 10, we'll make it 20 points wide. Now we'll do close button dot layer the corner radius equals 10, so that will make it a circle. We'll do close button dot set title, make the title X for close, for state just dot normal. Next is close button dot set title color. So this is the color of the text, and we'll do UI color dot black color for state dot normal. Next one will set the background color. So close button dot background color equals UI color dot white color. We'll also add a black border around it. So to close button dot layer dot border color equals UI color dot black color. Because it's on layer, we need to also do dot CG color. And then to make the border visible, we need to do close button dot layer dot border width equals one. One and then we need to add an action on the close button to add target. The target will be self selector will be close with a colon, comma, and for events will be UI control events dot touchdown. So when they touch that button, the ad will be closed. And this color doesn't seem to be working, so I'll just take a look at that UI color dot black. Oh, I haven't got it right, so I've actually done set title, so that should be got set title color. 
and then now get rid of that extra stuff and that will work. Okay, so now we'll get around to actually showing the ad. So first of all, we'll do the third and quarter close button. So I'll do functional close, bracket sender QI button. This, this code is going to be run when we click on that close button we just programmed. So to close the ad, we do close button dot remove from super view and enter ad view dot remove from super view. Okay. Now to show the ad, we're going to create a separate function called function load ad. And we'll just put in some print line statements. So when the ad's loading, we know exactly what it's doing. So print line load ad. So show the ad will do inter add equals add into scale your ad and then we'll do inter add dot delegate equals self so we'll make it this view control is able to control the ad and that's with our brackets at the end of it Okay, so the next thing we need to do to actually show the ad is when it's loaded, we need to present it in a view. So to do that, we do interspell add did load. And what we need to do, we'll just go print line add did load. To show the ad, we'll do inter add view equals UI view, just a new UI view. I'll do inter add view dot frame equals self dot view dot bounds. So this will be a full screen. Take up the whole screen. If you want it to be smaller then you can set it to be smaller in this frame here. I'll do view dot add sub view inter add view. Do inter add Present in view, into add view. Then we need to do UI view controller dot prepare into scale of ads brackets. Then do into add view dot add sub view. We'll add the close button that we made earlier to it. So this will add the close button to the ad. Fix that up. That's meant to be lowercase. All right. So this load ad, once that runs, this code here will automatically be run also to show the ad to the user. So now we need to add some more code to actually close down the ad. So to do that, what we need to do, create some new functions. First one is interstell add did unload. This is required by the add interstell delegate. So we don't need to put in any code here. Basically, um, this is when the ad is closed. But since we've got the close button, if we want to do anything when it's closed, we can also do it here. And there's also another inbuilt function when the ad failed to load or close that we can do some cleanup coding. So to do that, we install add did fail with error. So up here, you'll see this did fail with error. And this is if the ad failed to load for whatever reason. So the user might not have an internet connection. It might be running really slow. So it might not even be able to download the ad. So the print line failed to receive. And if you want to know what the exact error is, you go print line error localized description and that will print it out to the console so you can get the exact error message of what happened and in here we'll do close button dot remove from super view and then enter add view enter add view dot remove from super view so if it didn't load up then we'll want to remove it straight away Alright, so now that we've done that, we've got the code to display the ad. So we'll just run our application. Okay, 
and we'll go show ad. Okay, I'll try it again. I'll just rerun it because sometimes it doesn't load up straight away. Sometimes you need to leave it running for say five, ten seconds or it loads up fully, otherwise it won't show the ad. So go show ad. It's not loading, okay, I found my error here in the show ad, it's not actually doing anything, so in here, just do load ad, to call that load ad function we created earlier. So just restart that, give it a few seconds and we should see our ad load up when we click on it. Right, so we'll go show ad, here we go, see load ad, ad did load. This is an ad here. That's the button we made earlier because if you don't do that, there's no close button, so you're stuck on the ad. If you click on it, show some ad details, go close, and then click on our close button. So you can download the source code below and leave any feedback. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below. Also, check out our website, Facebook, and Twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen.